Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video that is totally different than what I usually do. I am having a truth talk with ya and I'm just being open and honest and transparent with you about something that I think is extremely important. I don't even know where to begin with the concept of weight loss, fat, skinny, all of this, body image. It is a huge animal. It is way too much to talk about in one video. And I'm gonna try to keep this video shortish. I don't know how to do that. All my videos are like 20 minutes, geez. So I'm gonna try really hard to keep this as concise as possible, but know that I'm gonna miss details. So don't be like, what if she thinks this? And what if she that? Like, I cannot cover it all. I promise this is an ongoing discussion. But today I'm talking about how I feel confident even though I weigh the most I have ever weighed in my life. If you have known me for any kind of length of time, you will know about me that I lose weight and I gain weight. And that is something that I'm working through from a health perspective, from a habits perspective, from a health and fitness kind of journey perspective. That's not what this video is about. This video is how I feel confident through that, how I feel confident no matter what my size is. I can't, I hope that in me being honest and open and vulnerable that you can see that this comes from a place of exactly that vulnerability this isn't for any other purpose or any other reason this isn't me being arrogant this isn't me being vain this isn't anything like that it's that i know there are people who watch my videos who struggle with their self-image who struggle with their weight and who struggle to love their bodies I know that they're out there because that has been me for so long, so long. There has to be more people out there and that is who this video is for. So if you want to know about that, then keep watching. So long story short, as a young girl, I was bigger than other people in my life. I was bigger than my sisters. I was bigger than my friends. I didn't understand. I didn't get why me. So I thought something's wrong. Something's wrong with me because I'm different. I'm fat. now. Growing up, that was really difficult, so I did a lot of crash diets starting at a really young age. Not like that my parents asked me to do this or anything, they didn't even know I was doing it, but I just felt the need. So I did Atkins, Slim Fast, Weight Watchers, I did cleanses, I did fasts, I did a 17 day diet, I did so much stuff. I didn't ever struggle with uh, anorexia or bulimia, per personally I never went through that, but I just, it was a constant yo-yo and I didn't understand health. So four years ago, I dug into turning this into a lifestyle instead of a diet. I finally clicked in my brain that you can't lose weight and not gain it back if you go back to your old habits. It's not a thing. That's not a thing. This had to be a lifestyle. I came to grips with the fact that my metabolism is slow and I gain weight easier than some people do. I'm not one of those people who can eat whatever I want and stay skinny and stay small and stay petite. I'm not that person. When I eat bad, I gain weight. That is just what happens. So I realized I need to turn this into a lifestyle so that I can maintain kind of consistency with my health and my weight. In doing this, I have still struggled to stay consistent. I have still struggled to keep weight off. It is an ongoing journey. But the thing is, is right now I weigh the most I've weighed in my life. Actually, that's a lie. I've lost a little bit of weight in the last month. But a month ago, I stepped on the scale and I weighed 180 pounds. Now, 180 pounds is not a lot for a lot of people. It's not that that's an outrageous number. Some of you watching this video are 110 pounds and you think 180 pounds is ridiculous. And some of you watching this video might be 210 pounds and you think 180 pounds is also ridiculous because you're like, what are you talking about? That's tiny. Like everyone is in a different range. But the thing is, is that I used to weigh about 150 pounds and at 150 pounds in my head I thought that was too much so for 180 pounds now four years into my health and fitness journey yeah when I stepped on the scale of course I was sad I cried I had my moment I was like disappointed um but the thing is I still feel beautiful it almost feels wrong to say that because in society it's just like so people are just so like mm, like negative about themselves so it almost feels wrong to even say that I think that I'm beautiful, but I think that I'm beautiful. And I think that you should think that you're beautiful. Because the thing is for me, I no longer even want to be small and petite. There's nothing wrong with that. But I genuinely have learned to love 
my curves and my fat and my like my body the way it is that I'm okay being this size. I'm okay being 180 pounds. And I'm not going to stop going to the gym. I'm not going to stop eating healthy. I'm not going to stop working on myself and having health and fitness goals. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I want to stay here. But I'm saying I'll be okay if I do. I'll be fine if I don't lose weight. Because I am beautiful the way that I am. And the only way that I got here was honestly over the last four years learning to change the way that I think. I don't even have a steps one, two, three, do this and you're going to feel great because we all have our own journey. That's not what this is about. This video is just about me being honest and open and real. And for me, what worked was changing the way that I thought about myself, changing my perception of what beautiful was. That was how I got where I am. That is how I feel confident. Because when my weight felt out of my control, because I was still eating healthy and exercising, but I was gaining weight, muscle, but also fat, I realized what is in my control. Who I am is in my control. How I act is in my control. What I put my time and energy into, that is in my control. What I am known for as a person, that is in my control. Who I am as a person and how I make people feel, that is in my control. So let's shut up about feeling gross and not good enough and fat. Hate that word, fat is beautiful. But I'm talking about the world's view, fat. Like forget thinking that way and change your perception, change what you think of that. And so I started doing that. I realized, you know what? Even if this is an ongoing battle for me of losing weight and gaining weight, not that I wish that upon myself, but even if that is what ended up happening, I need to find a way to feel confident and beautiful no matter what my size is. I'm trying to like not get emotional about this because it has been my world. There it is. Now I am getting emotional. Every single New Year's, every single birthday growing up was me being like, this year, I'll get skinny. And I didn't. And I was heartbroken. And I felt so not good enough. I felt so little. And this is the first New Year's that I'm going into that I don't feel that way. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited that I don't have to go into another year just feeling ashamed. Like, feeling not good enough. I'm going into this year with goals, don't get me wrong. I have so many fitness goals, I have so many health goals. Like I have things that I wanna work on, that I wanna get better at, but this is my first New Year's that I don't feel inadequate and I don't feel not good enough. I feel great, I feel proud of myself, I feel so good about how far I've come. I also feel like there's a lot of things I need to work on and I feel like there's a lot of things I failed at in this last year, but that's not the point. I hope as you go into your New Year's that you set goals for yourself and you pursue those goals. I don't know. I don't like sitting here and telling you what you should do or what you should work on. I'm not telling you this is my ABCs, one, two, threes, to feeling great and losing weight. Like I'm not going to act like that and I'm not going to tell you that. But I truly, for you, as my friends, hope that you go into this next year with your goal being to love yourself the way you are and work on yourself but to love yourself the way you are like I can't tell you how much it hurts my heart now that I'm in this place it's not that I don't have days where I feel disappointed in myself or freaking like a beluga whale because I just ate so much or I like have an exercise and I just feel sluggish and disgusting I have those days and I have those times but it genuinely hurts my heart to see and hear people I love who look amazing and are stunning and are amazing human beings, hearing them focus so much on what they're not, on what they wish they had, on what they wish they looked like. I just want to be like, wake up. You are stunning. You are beautiful. You work hard. You look great. You are sweet. You are kind. You are giving. You are loving. You are a hard worker. You are all these things. Just stop putting all your energy and your time and your thought into what you are not and start thinking about what you are and what you want to be and chase those things. Don't stop. I'm not here to tell you anything specific. I'm not trying to even necessarily give you advice or tell you what to do. I'm just telling you what I did. I'm just telling you where I'm at. I'm just telling you how I got here. I'm 180 pounds. I'm, well, I'm actually 173 pounds right now, but 180 pounds. 
I've never weighed this much in my life. I was shocked to see that number, but I am beautiful. The way that I am because of who I am, because of who I choose to be, because of who I work hard to be, I think that you have so much going for you. I think that you are so beautiful. And at the end of the day, for me, myself, and my own personal beliefs, I know that even if I had nothing going for me, and if I had made mistakes, and if I wasn't choosing to be the person that I wanted to be, and I wasn't taking care of myself, and I looked terrible, even if that happened, God thinks I'm beautiful. God loves me the way that I am. God created me stunning and gorgeous and beautiful and talented as he did all of you. So I don't know. I don't even know where to wrap this up. I really, really don't. I just, I hope that going into the new year, that your goal is to focus on what you do have, to focus on who you are, and who you want to be. And I promise if you are patient and you are persistent in that, then in time you will feel so much better and it'll actually make you want to work harder on your goals like for me i feel good i look in the mirror and i'm like mm -hmm, curves okay i see you i just do i do that now it's so weird like if i would have stepped on the scale three years ago and saw that number i would have literally like been like can i cut my arm off i don't even know what to do with that i wouldn't have gone out in a bikini i would have hid my stomach i would have been so insecure that ain't cute that's not a cute look just be confident rock it look good try do what you can love yourself the way you are i truly mean that change your self-talk in the way that you're thinking that would be my encouragement to you if i could give you any piece of advice if you ever want to talk about this with me reach out to me i will gladly talk with you thank you for watching my video thank you for watching this spiel it was different it was long it was deep it was real but I just truly, truly hope you know where my heart is and where I come from when I talk about this. It is very close to my heart, clearly, since I cried. Um, and it is very important to me. So thank you for watching. I will see you before the new year starts. And I appreciate you checking in with my channel again. Thank you so much. Love you so much. You are the best. Bye.